Even before her time as a royal, Meghan Markle stole the spotlight with charming outfits and a great sense of style both on and off the screen. But a great outfit comes at a price. Here are some of the most expensive outfits Markle has ever worn. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their engagement in 2017, and Markle noted the occasion with a gorgeous outfit perfect for a princess. The star of the outfit was her belted coat from Line, which included a price tag of about $627. Line president John Muscat told USA Today, "...we are incredibly honored that Meghan chose to wear a Line coat to mark this very special occasion. We know this particular coat is one of her favorite pieces, so we have officially decided to name it the Meghan." Markle paired the Meghan with a roughly $585 Peroche green crew neck dress and a pair of her favorite Aquazura heels. The best part of her outfit was her engagement ring, which is worth about $350,000 and was made by Cleve & Company Jewelers. The ring is made up of three diamonds, one from Botswana and two diamonds from Princess Diana's collection. All eyes were on Markle on her wedding day to Prince Harry, and her elegant wedding gown was a treat for the eyes. Designed by Givenchy's first female artistic director, Claire Waite Keller, the dress was the result of Markle's vision for her big day. Timeless and elegant, yet relaxed. It featured a boat neckline, three-quarter-length sleeves, and a fitted bodice, and it was made of a double-bonded silk. Markle paired her gorgeous dress and veil with Queen Mary's diamond tiara, which was loaned to her by Queen Elizabeth II. Here's where the outfit details get really impressive. At the center of the tiara was a brooch made of 10 diamonds, which was surrounded by diamonds and platinum in 11 different sections. Markle paired the tiara with a pair of earrings and a bracelet from Cartier just to sweeten the look. What was the price tag for Meghan Markle's wedding day look? Well, the dress itself was a whopping $265,000. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. It came as no surprise that as a former actress, Meghan Markle was named the National Theatre's royal patron. As a result of her new role, Markle made her first royal public appearance at the theatre in 2019, and she looked radiant while doing so. Pregnant with son Archie at the time, Markle looked stunning in a custom blush pink knee-high dress designed by Brandon Maxwell, with a matching jacket and nude Aquazura crisscross shoes. Markle's shoes alone were $695, and her custom Maxwell dress and blazer boasted a nearly $4,000 price tag. She paired the look with a simple white and gold Carolina Herrera clutch bag, worth about $530, and minimal bar stud earrings that cost about $280. But despite the pricey look, the most valuable parts of Markle's look that day were her glowing smile, gorgeous hairdo, and of course, her cute baby bump. Meghan Markle was radiant in her simple yet elegant wedding dress during one of the best royal weddings in history, but she flat out stunned in her wedding reception dress, so much so that the second look almost upstaged the first. The dress, a halter neck Stella McCartney gown, cost more than $157,000, and honestly, it looked it the silk fabric and a bright white beautifully draped over Markle's figure. Designer Stella McCartney made a statement on her website about it, saying, "...I am so proud and honored to have been chosen by the Duchess of Sussex to make her evening gown and represent British design. It has truly been one of the most humbling moments of my career, and I am so proud of all the team on this stunning sunny royal day." Meghan Markle really made a name for herself with a royal wardrobe full of sleek silhouettes, not to mention her no-fuss glam and natural makeup looks. But in a move that was quite a shock to her subtle wardrobe, Markle opted for an almost $13,000 Oscar de la Renta gown while attending the Australian Geographic Society Gala Awards at the Shanghai Law Hotel in Sydney, Australia with Prince Harry. The dress was gorgeous, featuring a very delicate yet bold print. The outlines and silhouettes of flying birds covered up the bulk of the fabric used to create the stunning look, and the bodice of the dress faded into a high-collared mesh neckline. The body of the gown was made up of layers of netted fabric and thus created an elegant but bold statement. Markle paired the dazzling dress with a pair of Aquazura black pumps, and she opted for a classic loose waves hairstyle. When Markle turned heads at the London premiere of the live-action Lion King film in 2019, it was a shock to literally no one. Markle opted for a Jason Wu-designed ballerina-cut black dress with sheer details and sleeves. In classic Markle fashion, she paired the effortlessly glamorous look with a neat bun, a small Gucci black clutch worth $1,390, and $950 Aquazura black heels. 
she paid $4,343 for the dress alone, pairing the look with Lorraine Schwartz's diamond earrings. But to be fair, Markle met the true king and queen, Jay-Z and Beyonce, at the premiere, and we would all wear our best clothes if ever given the chance to breathe the same air as Queen B. Markle gave birth to son Archie on May 6, 2019, and by June 8th, she was back in the public eye and attending official royal events. And true to her pre-maternity self, Markle delivered in class, poise, and fashion. While attending the Trooping of the Color Parade in London, which marked the celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's birthday, Markle was radiant and showcased an elegant navy ensemble. While riding in a shared carriage with her husband and sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, Markle opted for a Givenchy cape and dress and a Givenchy bag. The designer dress and cape alone was about 4,500 pounds, equivalent to roughly $5,800, and the coordinated bag was $1,070. Markle paired the look with a navy hat and gorgeous diamond earrings. While most of us play basketball in sneakers and a messy tomboy ponytail, Meghan Markle does not, at least not when it's going to be photographed. When Markle and Prince Harry played the beloved sport while attending the Coach Corps Awards in 2018, she opted to wear a navy-colored Oscar de la Renta blouse with a gorgeous rippling detail, a subtle waist-hugging belt, perfectly tailored black Altazara trousers, and sleek black heels. So what was the price of her very appropriate sporty top? $2,290. Markle used the event to showcase a new hairstyle as well, as she featured shiny, sleek hair with a middle part in place of the relaxed curls or tight updos she typically goes for. All we can say is that no one has ever looked this chic while playing basketball, and of course, she made it look effortless. The Royal Ascot is a big deal. The horse racing event takes place every year and is known for its dazzling fashion moments, upper-class frivolities, and the world's finest horse racers. In her first Royal Ascot appearance, Markle stuck to designer duds and opted for a Givenchy dress designed by none other than Claire Waite Keller, the visionary who designed Markle's wedding dress. Markle paired the gorgeous off-white dress with a hat by Philip Tracy, a box clutch, and a pair of black pumps. So what's the price tag? Well, for starters, the Givenchy dress alone was estimated to cost about 4,200 pounds, which is roughly $5,400. The clutch was almost $2,000, and the shoes were $650. And to top it all off, the Philip Tracy hat was around 1,950 pounds, or about $2,500. So collectively, Markle's look cost about $10,500. While attending Cirque du Soleil's show Totem with Prince Harry in support of his charity organization, which advocates for children with HIV in Africa, Meghan pretty much stole the show in a Royal Navy sequined dress designed by Roland Murray, who just happens to be one of Markle's close friends. Not dissimilar to the silhouette of her wedding dress, the sequined gown featured a wide boat neckline, long sleeves, and a tasteful slit. The dress cost about $1,330. Markle topped off the gorgeous premiere look with Stuart Weitzman black strappy heels with a price tag of $398, a $1,800 Givenchy jeweled clutch, and meaningful jewelry. The gold cuff bracelet she paired with the look was a piece from Princess Diana's collection. In classic fashion, Markle kept her hair neat in a bun and opted for a gorgeous berry lip color. The best part of all, her gorgeous baby bump was on full display. Meghan Markle came to the royal family already a rule-breaker. She was American, an actress, a divorcee, and very outspoken. So it should come as no surprise that her ensemble at the 2018 Trooping of the Color, honoring Queen Elizabeth's birthday, was as scandalous as it was beautiful. Fresh off her honeymoon, Markle opted for a Carolina Herrera baby pink dress with a matching clutch and coordinating Philip Tracy hat. So what's the scandal? Markle's dress featured an off-the-shoulder neckline, which reportedly breaks royal protocol. As explained by The Sun, royal women are encouraged not to wear off-shoulder necklines or styles that can be considered revealing. But this didn't seem to bother Markle. The designer dress, which may have actually been a top and skirt, was estimated to cost about £1,000, or roughly $1,288. The matching clutch cost $1,200, and the designer hat sent Markle back by $1,140. When Markle sat down with Oprah Winfrey, she held nothing back, from divulging the fragility of her mental health while in the royal family to alleging racist behavior on the parts of family members. Meghan revealed all, and she looked amazing while doing so. And there is no subject that's off limits, no. and you are not getting paid for this interview. All of that's correct. 
Meghan opted for the long, triple-silk Georgette dress from designer Giorgio Armani for the occasion, and the dress certainly hit the mark. Its dominant color, black, was suitable for the somber tone of the interview, but the dress's white flower detailing also spoke to an element of hopefulness and positivity, two things that Meghan wished for her family. The subtle floral nod was in step with some of her other garden-inspired choices, but the Armani design felt refined enough for the occasion. She paired it with a soft updo and, of course, her gorgeous baby bump. The dress was made of 100% silk, so the price tag of $4,700 makes a little bit of sense. Even when Meghan Markle doesn't look like she's trying that hard to look chic and expensive with her wardrobe choices, you can all but guarantee that she still dropped thousands on her look. On her 40th birthday, Meghan released a video on the Archwell website announcing her 40 by 40 initiative, with the goal of helping women reintegrate into the workforce following the COVID-19 pandemic. It's my 40th birthday, and I've got an idea. While her message was a powerful one, some couldn't help but notice her outfit. One of Meghan's most expensive choices regarding the outfit in question were her necklaces. Designed by Logan Hollowell, Meghan's necklaces were odes to her children, as they were the Taurus and Gemini constellations, respectively. The Taurus choice set her back $1,600, while the Gemini option cost her $1,785, and we haven't even moved on to the clothes. Meghan opted for pieces from Co, namely a cashmere cardigan that runs for $795, and what looks to be a pair of drawstring pants that run for $450. Topped off with nude Manolo Blahnik heels, Meghan's comfy outfit could easily break most of our banks. Since leaving their duties as senior royals behind, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have still made a distinct effort to contribute to worthy causes. For example, they served as co-chairs for the Global Citizen Vax Live event, which aimed to motivate people to get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as they were able to, as well as to promote vaccine equity. Meghan chose a gorgeous outfit for a video she released on the occasion, and it took form as the poppy print shirt dress from designer Carolina Herrera. While we mostly saw the Duchess of Sussex from the waist up, that didn't stop us from getting details about her gorgeous choice. The poppy dress featured a pointed collar and was made from a stunning, bold poppy printed silk material. The garment was made in Italy and featured an A-line skirt silhouette and a cinched waist detail. Meghan paired the look with loose waves and a very fun feminist icon necklace that certainly made us want to jump to the internet to find a replica. The dress, though? It cost $1,690. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.